Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to walk through the installation and setup of the Log SDK that we'll be using to create custom programs for the Korg NTS-1 NewTekt Digital Synthesizer. For this video, we're going to need Git and MSYS2. So if you haven't already installed those, please do so now. There are walkthrough installation videos for those tools on the setting up the development environment page if you need help. The GitHub repository for the Log SDK has a thorough installation guide, which we will be following verbatim. The first thing we want to do is clone the repo to a local directory on our own machine. Since we're using MSYS2 as our development platform, we'll place the cloned repo inside the home directory of the MSYS2 file space. Open the git command tool from the start menu and navigate to your msys2 directory. We can copy the repo address from the github page and clone the repo using the command git clone followed by the repo address. Next, we move into the log SDK folder and initialize and update submodules with the command git submodule update double dash init. This process can take some time depending on your connection speed, and the terminal doesn't display any information while the process is happening, so be patient and wait it out. need to install the GNU ARM embedded toolchain. We're going to need to open msys2 msys from the start menu for the next operations. The first thing we need is to install the unzip package, which we can do with the command pacman s unzip. Next step in installing the GNU ARM embedded toolchain is to run a shell script to download and unpack GCC automatically. We navigate to the Log SDK Tools GCC folder and run the file getgccmysys.sh. install GNU make version 3.8.1 or higher in order to build SDK projects. We can install GNU make by running the command pacman s make. Next, we need to install the zip utility. msys2 provides infozip 3.0 as the zip-3.0-1 package. We can install it by running the command pacman s zip. Finally, we will install the optional log command line utility, which we can use to manipulate unit files and communicate with the NTS-1. If we navigate to the folder log-sdk, tools, log-cli, we will find two scripts, which will install the 32 and 64-bit versions of the log-cli.
and now our development environment is set up. The only thing that remains is to choose a code editor. You can use an IDE like CLine, but for the purposes of this project, a simple editor like Notepad++ is perfect for viewing and editing code. In the next series of videos, we will install the librarian tool and build the demo oscillator waves, which we will then load to the unit via the librarian. Thanks for watching.